Hi everybody, I'm Constance Arnold. Thank you so much for coming to my YouTube channel. I never take that for granted. I'm so grateful and of course, if you're not a subscriber, please do so and tell five, no, 10. <laughs> tell 10 of your friends, coworkers, or family about my channel. I have over 400 um, videos and audios for you to listen to with New York Times bestselling authors. Uh, in the areas of law of attraction, attracting genuine love, manifesting more money, finding your purpose, inner healing, etc. With New York Times bestsellers and yours truly, uh, and I'm teaching a lot on how to manifest from the inside out. So scroll down and just saturate your body, soul, and spirit with all of this wonderful motivation and inspiration. Okay, so let me answer this question. And even though I'm answering this question for a listener, I want you to really extract the principle that I'm going to share. And basically the question is, uh, this particular lady, thank you so much for your honesty. Uh, she's an international listener and uh, she has been divorced for 10 years and she is still unforgiving and upset and mad uh, at her ex who has moved on and remarried and uh, but she wants love and so let me give you a universal principle and the principle is this unforgiveness is a vibration that you live and dwell in it's a low vibration you already know that and so you cannot create something new in a old vibration or in an old mindset. And so what has happened, my dear, over the years, you've been living in the state of unforgiveness. You've been thinking about it, feeling it, etc. You know, I get it. You know, I've gone through some really difficult uh, <clears throat> times in my life where you know, I was engaged and 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 things did not happen the way that they should have and and, and the way things that were done were not done with integrity, you know, I get that. And, and so, but you have to make a decision. Are you sick and tired of being sick and tired? And over the 25 years that I've been a professional counselor, one thing that I have realized is that as a coach and as a therapist, only the client can make that decision. And many times people want to hold on. I have a right to be mad and, and a right to be upset. And uh, Dr. Michael Beckwith said it so profoundly when he said that unforgiveness is like drinking poison and thinking it won't hurt you. And so in your particular case or in this particular case, you don't have any room for a new relationship. So when you, when unforgiveness is taking up your life, there's no space, there's no room for the new to even manifest. And so I would be I would say to you, I think you need to make a quality decision. You need to ask the spirit, spirit help me because I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. And so you don't even want to bring all of this old way of thinking, not trusting, not giving yourself fully in a relationship, in a new relationship, do you? And so even the Bible in Mark 11, 23, 24, uh, I was studying that the other day and it said this, when you pray, believe you receive and you shall have it. And then the next verse said something like, so when you're standing praying, forgive. And I was like, how do those two correlate with each other? And so it, it just dropped in my spirit was that because if you believe when you pray and you believe you receive, if you have unforgiveness, you don't have the capacity to receive what you are believing for. Wow. Wow. That's a profound principle. So I would say to you, make a quality decision. Uh, forgive and release your husband. Get the help that you need, maybe counseling or therapy. Walk through that. And as you begin to release, uh, 
forgiving or forgiveness is one of the highest vibrations that you can live in. It's right up there with love, uh, with peace, and with joy. And when you are living in that state of forgiveness, abundance, the gates of abundance will open up to you. I'm a living witness with that. And you know, there's a direct correlation between money and unforgiveness. You owe me an apology. You owe me. But that's, a, that's another video. So guys, this is the kind of in-depth um, teaching that I'm going to be doing in my upcoming virtual seminar on a Saturday, June 13th, because we all know that it's only when you deal with your limiting beliefs, your old mindset, your old vibrations that you can create the new. So I'm going to be teaching you how to achieve, accelerate, and, and really a manifest your wildest dreams. It is the will of God, but there are universal fixed laws that you must walk in, understand, dwell in, live in, and I'm going to be teaching you that. It's only going to be 10 people. Why 10? Because I want you to receive my real-time one-on-one virtual coaching. So go to my website, fulfillingyourpurpose.com. Just click the link below. God bless you, and uh, have a great day.